Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and uh, I have been doing tutorials on bandwidth management and uh, as part of bandwidth management you need to be able to identify traffic that is flowing through your network um, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to identify the traffic monitor it and uh, also determine which user is using up the the bandwidth and all of those things so there are a number of ways you can do this in route os and uh, i'm going to go through the different ways the first one or the first way is to go to ip firewall and uh, there's a tab named connections and in this tab it shows all the connections that are established um, through your um, your router and uh, it has a source address and a destination address so you can know whether or not the connection that is established is within your network or outside your network so say for instance um, you have a client um, that is maybe you know bit torrenting or, or doing some other things I want to find out what is happening you could actually look at that IP address. So say for instance, this is the IP address of the client. You could see the destination port that is being used. And if if there's a reason to block it or throttle the connection, you can do that. And uh, based on how um, this tab is or this view is configured, you can also filter the view the the traffic that is being displayed or the information that is being displayed you can click on the filter this icon here and you can filter based on a number of fields so if you want to filter based on an address you could put in address select source address and you could say in and you could put in the address 192.168. I'm going to just pick one um, 253 and click filter. And now you have filter all the connections just down to the one that you want. So now you can see all the traffic that is being generated by um, this part, this user. And uh, there, there are other options where you can choose. Um, the destination address, the mark, the traffic mark, and so forth. So this is one way you can monitor the traffic that is flowing. And also, it shows the the rate, the connection rate. So you can use that to determine if there may be an issue with your queues or traffic is leaking through your network and you're not accounting for it. You can use these to help you. All right, so that is the first way. The second way is to use your queues because if your queues are configured um, correctly then all the traffic that is flowing through your network would, would be accounted for in your queue. So your main bandwidth um, queue should show all the traffic that is flowing through your network based on the other queues that you have. So this is another way that you can use to monitor your traffic and this is the way we have been using for a while now so this is the second way that you can use to monitor your traffic alright um, the third way is to use interfaces and this give you a view of all the interfaces that um, that are on your router and I'm going to just generate some traffic um, on my VM just going to pull down a file alright so I'm generating some traffic now alright so for the one connection so let us look at the one connection first so you have the RX which is the receive and the TX for trans transmit so you're seeing the the bandwidth that is being utilized um, for your entire network for the for your internet connection so this is showing traffic that is going to and from the internet 
um, but for your bridge this will show traffic that are that is going to the internet and also within your network so if you have peer if 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 for instance there are clients that are connecting to each other and transmitting data or you have a server on your local network then the traffic um, on the bridge could be greater than what is going through your 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 one connection or your one interface and also we have a hotspot and it can show you the, the traffic just the same the only difference is you realize that the if you notice the the direction of the traffic you realize transmit is now showing the bandwidth as the receive and because the bridge the direction of the traffic change changes but all you need to do if you're looking at the one connection you know that receive is normal receive and transmit is normally your upload but for your bridge it's it's a bit switch it's switched around so just remember that so this is a, another way you can view the traffic that is flowing through your network and for the last method is to use what they call a tool named torch so you go to tools and go to torch and torch will give you um, a number of options to monitor traffic on the network so the interface is the first option and you can choose which interface you want to monitor the traffic on and you have your source destination if you're using ipv6 you can also choose that so let us monitor some traffic so on the one connection i'm not using ipv6 so i'm just going to uncheck this box i want to see the ports and i also want to see the port um the protocol that is being used and hit start and then this will now show you all the traffic that is flowing on the you the source and destination address and also the the rate of the connection so you're seeing where this is a user that is generating most of the traffic and uh, you can see whether or not not the user but the interface because this is a one interface so it's not really this this won't show the user but show the interface and um the modem that is connecting to to show the traffic that is going through that interface so this is the one connection and it is going to this address and you can see which port the local port that is being used and you can see the the external port that that this connection is going to and also you can see other other traffic because I selected protocol it does it does um it resolve the type of traffic so you can see https and http and so forth uh, you can go a bit further um, i'm going to just switch over to the bridge for my LAN. it start again and uh, what i'm going to do just like what i did um, with the connection i'm just going to double click on a particular user so I'm going to double click on this user here and then it start what that does it 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 will filter um, the view based on the traffic that is flowing through for this IP address so it start and now I'm just seeing traffic for uh, 7.253 only so you can even drill down even further by choosing the type of protocol so if i selected udp it start again to show me the udp the udp um traffic you can also choose port so all right say i'm going to choose tcp and i want to see all of the the https so it, so there's a lot of ports here. Look for HTTP, HTTPS. It start, and there's none that is running on on for this user. Uh, oh, 
yes there there's some traffic that is going through so you can see all of the https traffic um on the network for this particular user so these are some of the are these are the ways in which you can monitor track and even troubleshoot your your network in terms of traffic that is flowing through it because some of the time you may configure your mongo rules and your queues and afterwards you are wondering where the traffic is going because you're not reflecting the total traffic that is flowing through through your network is not reflecting in your in your queues these are the ways in which you can use um, to do that that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching